The government and the ruling party coined the term Papu. You use it to denigrate, to signify extreme in incompetence. Let me use the next few minutes to point out what the data, the statistics tell us as to who the actual Papu really is. There was this question of where is the Papu, who is the Papu, who is the Papu. Actually, if only, if only honorable member looks back into her own, own backyard, she'll find Papu in West Bengal. government has us believe every February that this country's economy is going great guns. We are the fastest growing, most efficient global player. Everyone is getting employment, we're getting gas cylinders, we're getting electricity, we're getting pakka houses. This falsehood flies for about 8 to 10 months and then the truth comes limping after it. And now we are in December and the government says it needs another 3.26 lakh crores of additional funds over and above the budget estimate. The government and the ruling party coined the term Papu. You use it to denigrate, to signify extreme in incompetence. Let me use the next few minutes to point out what the data, the statistics tell us as to who the actual Papu really is. NSO numbers were out yesterday. Industrial output has shrunk by 4% in October to a 26-month low. The manufacturing sector contracted 5.6%. Manufacturing is still the biggest generator of jobs. 17 of the industry sectors that make up the index of industrial production have recorded negative growth rates. Forex reserves have fallen by $72 billion in under a year. The Honorable Finance Minister yesterday during question hour mentioned how apparently 50% of FII inflows into emerging markets are coming into India. Wonderful! But her colleague, the Minister of State for External Affairs, just last Friday, in response to a question in this very house, stated that almost 2 lakh people, 1,83,741 people, renounced their Indian citizenship in the first 10 months of 2022. This exodus in 2022 takes the total number of Indians renouncing Indian citizenship under this government in the past nine years since 2014 to over 12 and a half lakh people. This year has already seen more people giving up Indian citizenship than any single given year. The ruling party is moving from one incendiary issue to another, from the division of Bengal into North and South to the Citizenship Amendment Bill to releasing convicted lifetime murderers and rapists just before an election, to openly trying to challenge the judiciary into submission. You somehow keep hoping that you will scare India into submission and you will keep winning power term after term. But it's not working. You just went to election in three states. With all your might, with all your resources, you won in only one. The president of the ruling party could not hold on to his own home state. Who's the papu now? A certain honorable MP from the Treasury benches, who's given to trespassing in high security zones, who goads us all with equal measure of falsehood and fake bravado, yesterday took cheap pot shots at my state, the state of Bengal, with false claims of diversion of Manrega funds. To him I say this, sir, don't push your luck. I went to Mount Holyoke College, I worship Mark Kali, and I've been elected twice from a border constituency. In your lingo, I say to you, and this is not unparliamentary, don't take panga. A certain Jari Bhuti Baba says publicly, he likes women in saris, shalwars, and also nothing at all. In the presence of the wife of a deputy chief minister of the ruling party, hand on heart, ask yourselves, had any opposition leader said anything remotely similar, you would have been baying for their blood. The ruling party does not denounce it, there is no outrage. A convicted murder and rapist is publicly giving sermons while out on parole, and leaders of the ruling party are listening to it. You do not have the moral clarity to call out right from wrong. Who's the papu now? People tell me to keep quiet, to make peace in the name of soft Hindutva. I am Hindu, but I refuse to play soft anything.
What this country needs is an elected government which plays hard morality, hard legality, and hard economics. No soft anything. I urge this government and the finance minister to take control of the economy, and I urge the people of India to take control over who they give the reins of this country to. Sawal ye nahi hai ki bastiya kisne jalai. Sawal yehi hai ki pagal ke hath mein matches kisne di. So on. Honorable Member Mahua Moitra said about where one should find Papu, who's the Papu, where's the Papu, and so on. Actually, either West Bengal in the... Sorry? So, all the fundamental macroeconomic fundamentals being questioned. There was this question of where is the Papu, who's the Papu, who's the Papu. Actually, if only, if only Honorable Member looks back into her own, own backyard, she'll find Papu in West Bengal. So there's no doubt where there are wonderful schemes which can benefit common people, West Bengal sits over it, doesn't distribute it. You, you don't need to search anywhere else for Papu. But even worse, sir, even worse is this point. Marches kiske hath mein hai? This is really, I can, I don't want to elaborate too much on it because it probably just wanted to spice the questions and the issues she raised about which I think in different ways I've tried answering. But it's, it's a matter of concern, sir, because kisne diya matches is not the issue because democracy, people elect the leader and give it to the concern. We don't need to undermine. We don't need to undermine the people by saying, Kisne diya in ke hath mein? Janta ne diya, Matthew. But, 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 Kiske hath mein matches kese upyog mein aata hai, wohi hai important. Matches kiske hath mein kese upyog mein aaya. Recently, you had, at least BJP, had a fantastic victory in Gujarat. Post-election, sir, what was the environment there? Peacefully, the new government came to power, was sworn in. Whereas compare it with what happened in uh, West Bengal, Bengal post-state government election. Marches kiske hath mein kese upyog mein aaya? Kese upyog mein aaya? Wo hai prashna. Prashna wo hai. Pura Bengal ko dila diya hai. Marches kiske hath mein? हमारे हाथ में हमारे हाथ में जब माचिस थी हमने उज्वला दिया हमने उजाला दिया हमने पीएम किसान दिया हमने स्वच्छ भारत अभियान चलाए जब आपके हाथ में आया माचिस आर्सन हुआ लूटिंग हुआ रेप हुआ हमारे कार्यकर्ता के घर जला दिया और ऊपर से और ऊपर से एक केंद्र मंत्री, एक केंद्र मंत्री, एमओएस मुरली दरन, उनके गाड़ी के ऊपर इतना अटैक हुआ, इतना अटैक हुआ, सेंट्रल मंत्री तक सेफ नहीं था, फोर्स इलेक्शन, सो मैचेस, जेपी नड्डा जी के गाड़ी तो कैंपेन के दौरान, मुरली जी के गाड़ी, एमओएस के गाड़ी Post election, so matches kiske hath mein kese kama aya, oh hum samajna chahiye sir, aise nahi hai baat, 